Hey YouTube, this is episode 65 of Daily BE. We're talking a little bit about spring style today. I have a, a meeting coming up, I'm heading out, and I thought to myself, this is kind of a good case study for this time of year. When it's getting a little bit warmer outside, but it's still kind of rainy and drizzly and not quite, uh, you know, it's obviously not summer, and it's not super colorful outside. So kind of a good transition that I like to use is picking one or two, kind of, you know, call it like a base color, and then adding a little bit of more vibrant colors on top of that. So, case in point, this jacket is a really nice brown coat, and a lot of times we don't really wear brown anything, right? We kind of think that it's a little too boring, or back in the 80s it was kind of, um, you know, really looked upon as being, quote unquote, like a middle management suit, where you just wear brown. And this isn't quite just a brown coat, obviously. It's got a really cool uh, blue plaid to it. And of course, I matched it to my tie. Blue is not only my favorite color, I have a lot of it anyway, but this time of year, kind of that lighter blue, you know, has nods of whether it's Easter or kind of the, the baby blue, whatever, it just has that sense of spring, right? And nothing too crazy though with the, the shirt. I mean, white shirt, very basic. And then, uh, you can't quite see, I don't think, but I have uh, just great pants on, just nice, um, you know, foundation for everything. So the takeaway here is that we're not doing anything too crazy. And I think uh, a lot of times it's easy to think that dressing for, whether it's the seasons or more of a specific event that you might have, it's easy to think that it's too complicated. There's too much going on when you're matching and doing different things. But really, if you think about it, in terms of breaking it down, you know, what are we doing? We're just having a real basic foundation, in this case it's brown, could be gray, could be kind of a lighter charcoal, it could be a lot of things. And then not going too crazy on the shirt, for instance, just keeping it really basic but doing it really well. And I'm wearing a tie, keeps everything nice and neat. If I weren't, I just want to make sure that my collar was, you know, well ironed, well pressed, and that it was standing up under the weight of my jacket lapel. And then little things like having a pocket square. Again, nothing too crazy here. This is a white pocket square. This is a, a lunch meeting, a business meeting I'm going to, and so I don't want to have anything too colorful, too vibrant. And it's also kind of a conservative crowd, I think. Therefore, I'm still dressing very nice, and of course it's my business, and so I want to dress a little bit above and beyond those around me. But at the same time, a simple white pocket square pressed is very basic. Can't go wrong with it. So give that some thought if you're looking for um, you know, what are you going to do for spring and how are you kind of easing into the season. And today I should note it's rainy and drizzly outside here in the Denver area. So it's not super, super colorful outside. And that's why, in my opinion, kind of a, um, a basic blue, nothing too crazy, nothing too wild going on with this look. Although if you don't have many coats like this, you might think this is kind of a bold coat. But then again, it's my business. So, you know, the takeaway is just that, just to think about starting with some fundamentals, not going too crazy on the, the big pieces, and then kind of building things just, you know, conservatively around that, but doing it really well. And if you want to have fun with the color, you can always do so with that tie or a pocket square. Again, I'm not in this case. But you still get this overall image where, with a little bit of color done right, it's still very springy and it's still just a good all-around look for your whole day. So give that some thought. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What do you do when you try and transition to the, uh, the spring seasons? You know, you're not going full bore summertime or full on spring with tons and tons of color, but maybe you're kind of transitioning in a, in a sense. I'm curious what that is. Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thanks.